So this is pretty much the uh, setup I've been using over here the last few weeks. Sort of designed it obviously to uh, dump the lead every time. I mean, coming away from them leg clips, especially with the braid, you know, trying to keep it sort of semi-slackish. If you like going onto the spots, there's a lot of weed around. So uh, yeah, like I say, a lot of the time when you're fishing them slack lines or slackish with the braid, you're having like up to the top leg gone all the time. So at least with that, you know, tension's got to be created on both sides. More sense of catching, obviously, what's picking your up baits up. Uh, but yeah, obviously still quite strong components. We're using braid over here. I mean, the weed is quite bad at the moment. And that's a 30 pound tin link. You know, it's really sort of quite a thick diameter as well, like 0.50. Uh, small, just set up on a really small little bit of leg core there. Obviously the big double ring swivel, just to allow that we're using like a stiff up link here, you know, the same as the leader in the hook link. And double ring swivels, you can see it just allows it, you know, if that bait's aligned its side, it just picks up. Everything can behave much more naturally on a stiffer hook link with that movement there. Uh, but yeah, we've just got, like I say, it's, there's a lot of tension here. A lot of aborted bites, lead gone, silicon blown right back. So to sort of avoid all that, just went for a simple knotless knot in a D. As you can see, you know, it can get picked up and spat out a million times, it's going to reset and nothing can sort of hinder the rig's presentation. Uh, again, you know, really strong components, the size 4 hook, remember the, uh, the BC, sort of big chod hooks, used them for a while now, you know, really strong, got a really sort of short, sharp, fat point as well. Found it quite important using the braid, you know, on them longer points. One or two losses and you find the points were always sort of like ticked over. Obviously everything on the braid so much more dramatic, if you like, you know, quicker. Obviously then, like I say, the short, sharp, sort of fat points seem to go in. The spots I'm fishing are really polished gravel now. They've seen quite a bit of food out there. So, obviously with the fluorocarbon leader and the uplinks, you know, basically, in, well, in my view, you know, it's, like I say, it's almost like it's not there, uh, apart from the hook and the lead, obviously. But, but yeah, like I say, simple, but strong and uh, hopefully tench proof. <laughs> We've uh, just got the last rod out now. They're all set for this evening. It's going to put a little bit more bait out as well. Like, again, the tents, you know, I'm sure they're uh, cleaning it up most throughout the day. So yeah, they're all set. Definitely a few about, but there's a lot down there. Like I say, I'm sure as it sort of gets a little bit darker, a little bit cooler, they'll be heading back down here. So, you know, the top of the spot's up, put a couple of key of boilie over the top. It's got two snowmans out there. Move one out, absolutely sweet. So hopefully, It'll be that same again, you know, half nine to that 10 o'clock period seems hot. So what are we now, about six o'clock, so yeah, get a bit of bait out there, a couple of hours, and uh, hopefully one of them should be away. Typically, in off the sack at the same time as the evening before. Oh no, and then runs off the spot. <laughs> Absolutely just charged off. It feels more out as well. See on the surface out there. Oh, it feels like it's like a little line or something. It's not too far away, mate. Angry one. Oh, he's pissed, isn't he? Mega. That'll do. <laughs> Mega. Not bad one, is he? I ain't got a torch on this, so I can't really see. 
That's a nice one. Right, well I was dooming, not gonna lie, about wasting my time in this swim. But I'm now not dooming because I've just got the good news that Miles has caught a carp, which is job done. Film in the bag. And I'm packed up, well, pretty much packed up, ready, and on the barrow to go around and see it. The witching hour, there we go. Days only. That bite was right on the last knock-ins. Nailed, Baz? Nailed, Barry. Lovely time. Do you want to read them or lift them? Twenty-nine out of two ounce divisions. Yeah, no, no, one ounce. One ounce, yeah, he's just under, just under thirty pound. I'm glad you caught this. You know. Lovely one, isn't it? Yeah, it's long. Good one, baby. It's awesome, isn't he? He's very much so. Angry. Or angry male. Classic of here? Yeah, yeah, most of these mirrors are yeah, pr pretty similar to this fella. A lot of them though, like say he's got little short dumpy pecs. Like say there's a right mixed bag in here. But yeah, a lot of this sort of, you know, in a, a lot around this size. Typical of him as well, you know, rip your arms off. <laughs> you did say that. <laughs> oh yeah, you see from the bite, you know, he was, He's not happy at all. But yeah, mega. Mega one. What is he, just under 30 pounds? Yeah, literally. Yeah. Quality. Yeah. Look on the other side, eh? Yeah. And right on last knockings. Again, yeah. They know. They know, mate. Yeah. Well, you see them all day, though, innit? This side of the rope. It's more on the weather, more than they know. You get that warmer weather, mate, they're heading up there. I said to Dan earlier, actually, it was like, them fish up there, it was like they knew when it was six o'clock as well. Because <laughs> they weren't there long after. Yeah, he's lovely. Buzzing with him, mate. Made up for that loss last night, eh? Yeah. yeah. Well done, man. Cheers, Barry. I reckon he wants to go home. I reckon he does, mate. He's, he's I think he's showing us the signs. <laughs> Yeah, it's getting back, eh? Is that the sling? Yeah. He'll do. Absolutely mega. Big angry male. Hit him back. Mega. 